Hey friends, Rachel Leah Gerson from Doorway to Self here on this beautiful, lazy, sweatshirt, sweatpants Saturday. It is 11-11, um, November 11th, uh, and today is a portal day. So what that means is when you look at the number 11, it's two ones right next to each other. Um, so you can see it looks like a doorway, right? When you have four ones next to each other, there's three doorways. And actually, we have a fifth one today as well um, because we're in a one year, as I've explained um, in some articles that are on DoorwayToSelf.com's blog um, that you can check out. Um, so, yeah, so basically what that means just in in jest is, um, the gist of it is, um, that 2 plus 0 plus 1 plus 7, 2017, all adds up to 10, and then 1 plus 0 is 1. Um, so we are in a day of five ones, um, and that's not something that happens usually, um, <laughs> like every 10 years, pretty much. Um, hi, thank you for joining. Um, so this is a big day, um, just in terms of manifestation, in terms of making wishes, in terms of um, being able to reach through to the astral realm, so reach through to different psychic experiences and psychic realms, um, where we can actually physically change things on this plane um, from where we're sitting on Earth. Um, because really, anything that you think up, anything that you imagine exists, because you've created it in your head. You've created what's called a thought form, right? And those thought forms exist on other planes. What happens when you think? What happens when you have thoughts, when you imagine images, when you imagine words really, really loudly? You see that stuff in your head, and if it exists in your head, it has to exist somewhere else, right? Where else? Where else do all of those things go? I remember watching a video on YouTube when I was, um, I don't know, probably 12 or 13, um, and it really stuck with me. And it was actually, you know, it was a, a video making fun of emo kids, right? Um, I can't remember for the life of me what it was called or where to find it, but um, this girl um, writes all of these words on a chalkboard, like, um, in the classroom, and it's like, um, I am so sad, so, you know, whatever, and she's making fun of, which is terrible, like, <laughs> those are real, legitimate feelings that are okay to feel, um, so, but anyways, she erases them, and she says, what happens when all of those go? Where, and she, she picks up a butt bucket and it's full of all of this chalk dust. And she's like, all of this chalk dust used to be words. Where did all of these words go? And that video, even though it was a joke, was really powerful to me because, it, you know, it's a good question. Like, where do all of those words go? All of the words that we type up on a computer and delete, all of the words that um, we delete in text messages, um, all of the words that we speak that just fall away into the air, um, wh where do all of those go? Um, and the answer is that they go to the astral realm, and, um, there, you know, they, <laughs> they become what they are. If you believe something, if there's really thought and love and passion and belief behind it, or not even love, it could be fear, it could be anger, um, if there's a really strong emotion behind what you're saying, what you're thinking, images that you're creating, um, it's going to exist on the astral realm, um, and if it's powerful enough, if the emotion behind it is powerful enough, then that's going to do this kind of slingshot process, right, where it slings itself into the astral realm and then hits the rubber band on the other side out there and comes back into this world. So um, let's say that you... Um, I'm sure, you know, everyone's probably had this happen to them before, um, where it's something along the lines of, 
I'm going to fail X, right? I'm not going to, I'm not going to survive this project. I am, I'm going to fail this project. I'm going to fail this conversation. I'm going to fail this video. I'm going to fail at life. I'm going to fail this test. Um, I'm going to fail. I'm going to fail. I'm going to fail. Right. And those words keep repeating, 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 repeating um, in your head. And you're feeling them. You're feeling behind them. Those words are going to come true. And what happens? You freaking fail at whatever you said you were going to fail at because you inherently believed that you were going to fail at it. Um, so that happens with those kind of fear-based things, right? It also happens with things that are high vibration, things that we are really wanting to happen, right? Um, I just watched a really beautiful um, live video with Breezy Spreadlove um, over Instagram, um, and you should check her out. She's awesome. Um, I believe she's at Breezy Spreadlove on Instagram, and then her YouTube link is in her bio, um, and you can find her on Facebook as well. Um, hi, Emily. Yeah, I know. It's wonderful. <laughs> um, I love seeing you. So, um... So yeah, and I, I just watched this wonderful video with her where she was asking for um, people to help others with PTSD. And the way in sh which she was asking for it was um, through having them send their energy into this portal, right? Into this 11-11-1, right? Into this five, into these four doorways here. One, two, three, four. Four doorways that we have the opportunity to send this through into the astral realm. And so she was asking them to send their love, to send their healing. Um, and that works as well, right? Or um, what's another great example when you're really, really passionate about something. Let's take the opposite of what we said before. I'm going to fail this. What if I'm going to rock this? I'm going <laughs> to smash this. It's going to be so good. I am going to completely change the world with what I'm doing. I am going to rock this test. I am going to um, completely uh, blow someone's mind with this conversation and make them think whether they agree with me or not. I'm going to make them think. Um, I am going to um, fly today um, through myself, right? Um, and when you think those things that passionately, um, and it's not egoic, right? It's not coming from a place of, oh, yeah, I'm so hot. I'm going to do this, right? Like, oh, yeah, I'm so good at this. I'm going to, like, I always do well. If it's not coming from that place, right, um, if it's coming from this place of truth, this place of real, real passion, that's what's going to send it through and back. Um, so take today. Take today to do something like that, to create. Today is a creation day. Creation through thought form. So what are you going to create today? What wishes do you have today that need to come true? I almost said come through. I'm sure you saw me stutter there. Because that's exactly what's happening, right? Those wishes are coming through. And I should add a caveat here. It's not bending anyone's will. These are not the kind of wishes of like, oh, I wish this person um, would talk to me. Or I wish this person would realize that the relationship they're in is terrible. Or I wish that um, this teacher would realize that they're horrible. Or I wish that my boss would quit or, you know, anything like that. It's not stuff that bends other people's wills. It's about twisting that around and making it about you. When it's about you, that's when it gets manifested. So, um, you know, instead of, uh, I wish this person would talk to me. What about, um, I wish that my vibration could raise itself to a high enough point where I will be attracting 
the people into my life who need to be in my life so that I can receive communication from like-minded people who are high vibe enough who are at my frequency so that it's a reflection of me, so that it's a reflection of the fact that I'm at this place. Um, You know, I wish that um, instead of I wish my boss would quit their job, what if it was um, I wish that my boss would, um, or rather, I wish that I can help to change the vibration in my office to a point where um, the vibration of everybody around me changes and it helps to filter out those who no longer belong there, right? And that actually sets things twofold, right? Because it sets it up so that either your bo- your boss's vibration can raise and they're therefore a more tolerable person for you to deal with and then you don't want them to quit because, hey, now they're, <laughs> now they're cool. Um, or it raises the vibration in your office space to a point where their frequency no longer matches it, they feel uncomfortable there, and then they're going to quit. Make it about you. What do you want? What do you need for yourself? It's about you, not about anybody else. We control ourselves. We can't control the outside world. Stop trying to do that. It's not going to get you anywhere. It's not going to do any good for you, and you're going to feel shitty about it. Stop trying to do it, okay? Control yourself because you're the person that you have control over. Cool? Cool. Um, so, yeah, that's about it. Um, do some manifestation today. Um, embrace this portal. Embrace, uh, embrace yourselves. Embrace the fact that um, we have access right now to the other side through four different doors okay and actually at 11 11 p.m that opens up um it's hard to do the math when you're thinking of all these fingers and then what's in (laughs) in between um but you know that's that's two more 11s that you're adding to that so that's now seven 11s or excuse me it's four more that you're adding to that um so it's nine 11s um so uh so that should be eight portals right so that if you want to try and do some meditation um some manifestation around that time that that's brilliant and all day long as well. I'm sure some of you were having some crazy dreams last night too. I know I was. Like little like blue creatures were coming and stealing things from me and then other little creatures were coming and bringing them back like way bigger. It was really cool. Um, <laughs> but um, I have like a crazy vivid dream world. Anyways, um, so yeah, really, really paying attention to that. Um, paying attention to what's coming through for you today, paying attention to what you want to bring through today. Um, Manifest, manifest, manifest. And that is my manifest O for today. Um, If you want to know what I have been wishing for today, um, you can find that in my post on um, Doorway Self's Facebook page or on Instagram at Doorway to Self. Um, you can follow and like both of those things. Um, and actually the Facebook page is almost at 400 likes. So, um, the deal is, is that the 400th person, the the 400th person to like (laughs) this page is going to get one of, um, the brand new Dory to Self flower, um, well, it's not really flower, plant and crystal essences, um, of your choosing. So, Make sure to like, make sure to follow, and I look forward to seeing your manifestations come to fruition and change the world. Love you. Thank you for joining.